Welcome back then. Bajaj Electricals is on our radar. Remember, they posted a rather subdued set of numbers. Revenue has declined for the company this quarter. Net profit and a bit are both of come in a tad bit lower than what the street was working with. We have Mr. Anand Bajaj, the joint MD of the company, who joins in. Hi, Mr. Bajaj. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, looking at your pro uh, consumer product business, margins at around 4.6%. That's a bit of a bright spot. Is that kind of a number sustainable? Yes, it's uh, absolutely sustainable. Uh, as we've been speaking in many quarters earlier, that our uh, TOC or the RREP program has been a journey where we specifically have uh, knowingly taken a hit on top line to make that range reach expansion happen in the market. Mm. And it is a cycle which was going to eventually give us a better uh, sales in, in the market to really become uh, and really, really uh, sort of uh, sustain in the market in a bigger way. And to that extent, this is exactly what is happening. And between now and March, uh, we will be uh, implementing the, the TOC completely across the country. Hmm. So this will be uh, only probably becoming better because in the way th uh, the market is, we have already got no wholesale dealing directly. Hmm. And uh, to that extent, it's already a lot of the correction which we wanted to do in the market in the way of selling. That is already taken place and now clearly the traction is coming. And sure. some of the uh, uh, percentage improvement also directly has happened from the GST impact where we already are distribute, uh, sorry, our suppliers and their sub-supplier had already given us an opportunity by giving better pricing. So to that extent, we got some benefits straight from there. So we didn't really wait for GST to arrive. Hmm. We took the uh, preemptive plans already in hand. So I think that also has helped us. Okay. Uh, so Anant, uh, just to clarify this, your consumer product segment was down 10% in terms of revenue this quarter, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that, that was planned, however, by you? I yeah, mean... That revenue is... Uh, Yeah, because the thing is that, as uh, as we hmm. explained many uh, yeah. earlier times, that the uh, the revenue when you are implementing the TOC process, exactly. in the first uh, phase there is a little drop in the new markets, mm -hmm. and when it stabilizes, it comes back very strong because by then you have reached out to a larger piece of the market. So, like right now, for example, as we speak, we are 108,000 plus outlets. We have real-time data from all over the country okay so which is very very comprehensive in the way we are reaching out to the market and so uh, so it's only going to get better all right it's going to get better uh, right now also yeah. we already got uh, approximately 200 distributors right all right uh, you know mr bajaj we want a couple of details in terms of forward-looking statements now when we started off the year the consumer products business what we understood was that it's likely to grow in double digits is that still possible? First half of the year, we've seen a bit of a degrowth. And what's going on mm -hmm. in the engineering business? So there, I think at the start of the year, we were working with a growth of around 15 to around 20 percent. Looks rather difficult now. For the mm -hmm. year, what kind of numbers can we do from both these two segments? Right. No, actually, see, in the second, in second quarter, we had a lot of uh, impact. As I'll first cover the EPC part, yeah. because there the... Uh, the uncertainty on some of the GST mm. uh, impact which the our government customers were going to give, that clarity we will get in this by the third quarter. So by December, it will be very clear the level of uh, GST uh, impacts which we will uh, sort of uh, get some uh, some benefit or uh, if it will not come, that will get clear. Mm. And also largely as a result of the GST uh, in the second quarter getting understood by everyone, including government, uh, there was a little slowdown in the execution speed and that will all come back very strong because luckily now the even the Bihar flood issue I think is largely uh, sorted out so therefore now the speed of work will be very very solid for the remaining part of the year so I don't really see mm. a problem in achieving the uh, the larger goal but importantly in the CP part uh, also because the uh, the uh, TOC way has uh, reached out to a larger part sure. and a lot of them have stabilized for well over a year now so to that extent we will see a lot of the growth and and of course the third and fourth quarter uh, in many ways is the quarters 
for the uh, CP, I mean the consumer products because the water heaters and the air coolers, fans. So it's the main season time will actually arrive in these two quarters, which are third and fourth quarter. So I don't see any reason why we will miss the plan. In fact, we should uh, meet everything what we have already said, and possibly uh, let's see how the market eventually stabilize because this third quarter will mm. be the real testimony of the GST, how well it is implemented across the country, not only from Bajaj Electrical's sure. point of view, but as a country, how they have uh, adapted to GST. Right. And, uh, and right. that, I think, will be the... So third quarter, I think, will be the real... A real test for the whole industry as well. Okay, all right, Anand. We're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and speaking to us. So that is the management of Bajaj Electricals, and uh, Dr. Lal Patlab's numbers, which are just about a single-digit growth and a decline, which is coming on the t uh, bottom line. So we'll wait by to see what they've done in terms of volumes this time as well. But that's all the time that we have in the show. Uh, closing bell up next.